Hallo zusammen, I'm your vlog Dave. In this first episode of Made in Germany, I want to talk a bit about cars and car brands people associate with Germany. So, let's begin. So I'm just gonna throw a term into this room that couldn't be more typically German. Benz Patent Motorwagen Nummer 1. What the heck? Which actually is a German word too. Das Heck. However, I'm gonna explain it. Don't worry. So, what is the Benz Patent Motorwagen Nummer 1? The last of family name Benz might be very familiar to you. Think of the car brand Mercedes Benz. And Patent Motorwagen Nummer 1 translates to Patent Motor Vehicle Number 1. This technical term is closely connected to the year 1886, 130 years ago, in other words. The back then 42 years old German engineer and inventor Karl Benz constructed what is widely considered to be the world's first proper and practically usable motorized vehicle. Or in other words, the first car in the modern sense of the word. An automobile powered by the so-called Verbrennungsmotor, a combustion engine. It's an engine, der Motor, that's powered by the mixture of a so-called Kraftstoff, der Kraftstoff, and Luft, die Luft. A few facts about this vehicle, the so-called Benz Patent Motorwagen Nummer 1. It had a horsepower output of, wait for it, 3 fourth of 1 HP, respectively 0.55 kW, kilowatt, kilowatt. And it weighed around 265 kilograms, which basically equals 584 pounds. In the German language we use the term die Pferdestärke, a literal translation of horsepower, and the abbreviation PS. The maximum possible speed of this vehicle was 16 km per hour, respectively 9.94 mph, miles per hour. Another name you should keep in mind is Gottlieb Daimler. In 1890, he and Wilhelm Maybach, think of the car brand Maybach, founded the Daimler Motorengesellschaft near Stuttgart, Stuttgart. This company and Karl Benz's Benz and Company, company huh, merged to a single new company, the so-called Daimler Benz AG, in 1926. So you might be wondering what AG, AG stands for. Die Aktiengesellschaft, abbreviated AG, AG, which means Share Limited Company or Stock Corporation. However, this company, the Daimler-Benz AG, later became today's Daimler AG in 1998. So, why do I mention all this? One reason is that both the DMG and the Benz company were two of the first car companies ever worldwide. Another, not less important reason is their general relevance in the cosm of cars and engineering. And yet another reason is Mercedes-Benz, which does not only include passenger cars, der PKW, der Personenkraftwagen, but also trucks, commercial or utility vehicles, das Nutzfahrzeug, and much more. I won't go into full detail here, but have you ever heard of Otto engine? Der Otto Motor? It's an internal combustion four-stroke engine that was patent registered by the German engineer Nikolaus Otto in 1877. Moving on to some other famous German car manufacturers, let me just do some name dropping here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Volkswagen Group, based in Wolfsburg. There are numerous reasons for this. The most important one is, this is a highly mutated beast of a company and no, I'm not exaggerating. In fact, it's the biggest car company in the world. But not only that, just in general, it's also the seventh largest company worldwide, both as of 2016. 
It was first founded in 1937 by the so-called German Labour Front, the Deutsche Arbeiterfront, which basically was the National Socialist Trade Union. The term Volkswagen is a German compound word that translates to people's automobile. Many people know different models of the Volkswagen brand. VW or as we call it in German VW. And this car brand is run by the subsidiary company Volkswagen AG, which is not to be confused with the parent company Volkswagen Gruppe or Volkswagen Group. However, nowadays the just mentioned Volkswagen Group can also be associated with, for instance, a very famous car company founded in Stuttgart in 1931. So, do you know which company I'm talking about? Yeah, right. It's the famous Porsche AG, founded by Ferdinand Porsche. Nowadays it's owned by the Volkswagen Group, but it's still the Porsche AG. Other brands that, at the end of the day, belong to the Volkswagen Group include Bugatti, Lamborghini, Bentley, MAN, one of the biggest truck and bus companies in the world, Seat, and so on. Another big German subsidiary company that nowadays is owned by the Volkswagen Group is, yeah, it's true, the Audi AG, based in Ingolstadt. Audi was founded by August Horch in 1910. And by the way, Audi is the Latin word for listen, which also equals the German Horch. And on a side note, Lauer Saxony, Niedersachsen, one of the 16 German states, is a steady co-owner of the Volkswagen Group. The car brand Opel, Opel, is also of German origin, you could say. In 1863, even before Karl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler founded their respective companies, Adam Opel founded the Adam Opel AG in Rüsselsheim. And although Rüsselsheim is still one of the main facilities, Opel is actually owned by the US American parent company General Motors nowadays. Obviously I can't finish this video without mentioning another huge German car company. BMW, the BMW AG. BMW is a German abbreviation for Bayerische Motorenwerke, Bavarian Engine Plants or Works, a company that was founded in Munich in 1916. Believe it or not, but nowadays the Rolls-Royce company is indeed owned by the BMW AG. The same applies to the British company Mini, which is also owned by the BMW AG. One of their most famous models is the Mini Cooper. So tell me guys, what do you associate with German cars or German brands? Do you have suggestions for other goods and items made in Germany? Also if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and feel free to share it with the world. Social media and support links will be shown in a few seconds. However, thanks for watching everyone. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.